the more time that you spend learning about day trading and technical analysis, the more these different terms come up. And you guys have heard it said before that price action is king. One of the most useful tools that you can use when determining what price is going to do is looking at candlestick patterns. A group of candles together that tell a story of what price is doing and what it's gonna do next. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five candlestick patterns that are really gonna change the way that you see the story of the charts. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So I'm pretty sure that my intro says it all, so let's just get into the charts and start showing you some examples of how to find and see these candlestick patterns. Okay, so what I'd like you to do first is always start with a naked chart. This is the best way to tell where the support and resistance levels are because knowing what these candlestick patterns are saying and doing, it's much more impactful when knowing where the key support and resistance levels are. So looking at the chart here, basically you're just gonna draw a horizontal line across every single area that recently had some rejections and support. Basically anywhere that there's a point. Just by having these few lines up on your chart, you're gonna be able to see these different zones and use them as ladders. So as the price went through these areas, these were specific areas where the price rejected and or held support. So now now going forward, as the price starts going in between these lines, these are going to be your take profit areas. Okay, so the first and probably most important candlestick pattern is a long wick candle. Now I know this can be different with how you have your chart view laid out. But what I want you to do is look at the surrounding candles and see what the average candle looks like in comparison to a long wick. And I'm gonna show you what a long wick looks like. Even right here, you can see this is a pretty long wick in comparison to the rest of what's on the chart here. But let's say you start looking at the charts and it looks like this. There's no candles past this point. What I want you to do is wait for the price to come back up to this level. We should always be under the assumption that when price reaches a level that it's previously rejected at, that it's most likely going to reject at that point. But you need these confluences in price action to determine whether you're gonna enter a trade at that level. So as price comes back up to that level, what you're looking for is a long wick. This is why day trading is a total patience game because you have to wait multiple hours for price to come back to a certain level. That's why I highly advocate setting alerts, just drawing up at that level an alert and your phone sends you a message when it hits that level. This, my friends, is a long wick candle, hitting that level, showing a massive rejection off of that zone. That right there is your entry at the close of that candle for a short position, targeting the next zone. That's a 20 pip trade on Australian dollar, US dollar. Now, when looking at different take profit levels, you can check areas where it's found resistance before, here, here, and here. Always look left when you're looking at your targets. So because this is such a small trade to the next support and resistance zone, what you can do is actually target the next zone down where we saw some resistance, taking this from a 20 pip trade to a 50 pip trade. But your main take profit area should be that key level that you marked up. Those smaller zone trades are usually gonna hit take profit faster. And if you wanna long-term hold that, you just need to monitor the trade and have a trailing stop loss on it. And or look for another long wick cam. Now, the next candlestick pattern that I want to discuss with you guys is called the engulfing candle. They're also known as momentum candles. A lot of these things have different names, but I like to call them engulfing candles because it literally engulfs the previous candle. Now, when a candle engulfs a previous candle, it doesn't always mean that the momentum is going to shift right there. But when a candle engulfs another candle at a previous support and resistance level, it's way more important and significant than when it happens in the middle of a zone. So as price action is going up, we are waiting for price to hit this zone and give us an indication of what it's gonna do next. You always have to wait for it to hit zones 
before you can get into a trade comfortably. So as we're getting closer to this zone, this is when you're waiting basically for your app to give you a notification that prices hit this area, then you can hop on the charts and look for these specific candlestick patterns. This right here is way more significant than this right here. I know that this eventually went up, but if you had set your stop loss below this engulfing candle right here, you would have been stopped out. It's way better to set your trades at key support and resistance levels. So because we've already been in a trade that went through that level, coming back up to retest, this is gonna be another good entry point. And at this point, you can target that next support and resistance zone, giving us a 20 pip stop loss and a 92 pip take profit. Keep in mind though, that this is a one hour time frame, so you are going to be holding trades for a long time. This is not scalping. The next candlestick pattern that I wanna discuss with you guys is called the inside bar. It's basically the opposite of the engulfing candle. So as the price comes down to a key support level, but that candle actually stays within the range of that one so it does not engulf it it completely lives within that range that shows a loss of momentum meaning the selling pressure has completely diminished letting you know you should keep an eye out for a long position here but this is not an entry candle this is just a candle to signify a loss of momentum at that zone so these candles are gonna help you know when the momentum is dying at a certain area. Okay, now the next two kind of go hand in hand. So I'm gonna group them together for this example. Basically, as price is coming up or down to one of these key support and resistance zones, and it's starting to lose momentum before it gets there. You don't have these big fat ones hitting it and then rejecting off of it you start to see this slow wean down of momentum. And it usually happens at the very end of a long move. The candles go from this to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, and they start getting less and less prominent. So you go from seeing these like massive chunks of red getting smaller and smaller and smaller up until it hits that support and resistance zone. And then you know you need to keep an eye out for a potential reversal at that zone because of the loss of momentum. And in conjunction with that, when that usually does happen, that's when you start getting these multiple long wick candles. Multiple long wick candles at a specific zone is also showing that loss of momentum, that battle between the buyers and sellers. Because when buyers start losing momentum, what they're doing is closing their positions. When a buyer closes a position, it becomes a sell order. Then the sellers start coming in and start selling at that same level, and it's a double action candlestick pattern where the buyers are stopping and closing their positions selling and the sellers are coming in opening their positions and selling. I hope that made sense. So multiple long wicks at a support and resistance zone as well as the candles becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. These areas right here are almost guaranteed to show momentum shift in the opposite direction. I get so many questions about price action and how to tell what the price is gonna do. So I'm gonna try to make more videos about price action, different candlestick patterns, to help you guys really read the story of what these candles are telling you because every single candle is telling you something. And when you can tie what these candles are telling you at key support and resistance levels, and combine them like these last two work together perfectly. But if you can combine all five of these patterns in one level, the assurance that you're gonna have on that trade is far greater, allowing you to get that bigger take profit and hold that trade for longer. The more confluences you have, the more confidence you have in your trade. I really hope this video helped you guys out, but what I really want you to do is prevent making the mistakes. So the top 10 day trading mistakes that I see on a daily basis that people DM me, that video is right here. And if you got some value out of this video and you like the way that I teach and you wanna see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.